Scorpio, welcome to Healing Hype Man. My name is Alvin. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back, Soul Fam. Uh, this is going to be a relationship spread. The, the first spread that I have here is going to be if you're dealing with someone or you have someone in mind or you're going on a date with someone, and someone that you're dealing with. At the end, I'll pull a singles, a past, present, future, and who's coming towards you. And quick shout out to Safe Stones for this awesome black tourmaline on a gold necklace choker that I got from them. I also got this really cool, this one's black tourmaline as well on a safety pin. So check them out. The link is in the bios. Safe Stones. If you're watching this on Instagram and you're only going to see the first 15 minutes, link in my bio so you can see the rest. Let's just dive right in because I don't want them to be long. Scorpio. If you're dealing with someone, the core of your relationship is a lesson. It's a lesson on love. Uh, very well could have been past relationships that this is kind of showing you a different side to things. But the core of your relationship with who you're dealing with is, is a lesson in pain. Very well could be a lesson in heartbreak or what heartbreak might feel like or what pain might feel like. Uh, does it mean that you're in that situation right now? That's the core of your relationship. Maybe you guys became together or you're going to have some type of similarity in your lessons in love. Very well can be spirituality as well. Uh, you know, spiritual lessons on love with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Uh, where their heart, where their head is at. They're indecisive, two of swords. They're not quite sure what direction to go in with this relationship. Where their heart is at. They have hopes, wishes, and dreams, and desires. Their heart has high hopes for for love their heart space has big dreams their heart space has big big wishes to fulfill and what they're showing you is ten of swords you know this this can very tell me that they want they want something to end here uh, Scorpio this can also tell me that uh, there's some sort of pain there as well I, I typically I would say ten is a completion but to be honest with with the core of your relationship here being from a space of pain you kind of know how that resonates. You tell me if, if they're showing you signs of wanting to end or if they're showing you signs that you are someone that completes them coming from a space of pain. I'm going to leave that up to you. Scorpio, what you're showing them is Queen of Wands. You're showing them, you're seeing the bigger picture. You're, you're, I'm sorry, your head. Your head space is seeing the bigger picture here. Your head space is, is, is joyful. Your head space is courageous and your head space sees something bigger here. You know, where their head space is, is indecisive right so uh big aspect on you seeing the bigger picture and they're not really seeing that at all they're seeing it as this a, as a hard decision your heart space is in conflict so you're in rivalry maybe this person is competition or maybe this person is is you feel like they're beating up your heart and what you're showing them is is the empress you're showing them quality you're showing them you know I, in some senses i, I do want to say a little bit more maturity Right? They just seem to be a little bit indecisive and, and, and I really want to say they're, like, they're looking for something deep. They want something deep, but I don't know if they see it with you. I, I, again, you kind of tell me why are they showing you Ten of Swords? If you're watching this, you probably 333, you can understand Tower of some sort. Why are they showing you Ten of Swords? It can be a completion, but you tell me the best. You're showing them, you're showing them maturity. But at the same time, they're beating your heart up. Right, a little confusing there for me to kind of get where that's from. And then I'm going to clarify this. Let me clarify, you know, what they're showing you. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Three shuffles. Death. They want to end. They're showing you they want to end it. Wow, this is deep. This is the Ten of Swords and Death card. Like, There would be more positive cards if they saw you as a fulfillment or as a wish come true or as a new cycle starting here. Really feel like they want to end this chapter with you. I'm going to say how I see it. And why is your heart space, why, are you, why do you feel like your heart space is being battled? There's a loss here. So you very well are already feeling this. You know they want to end it and your heart kind of hurts. That's, that's what I see here, Scorpio. Let's pull some Oracle cards, 444. Four, four. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Okay, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. 
camera, reminiscing on something. You very well could be thinking about the past, or you could be looking at, at things. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't linger in that energy if I were you. I'd kind of move forward on that. You know, don't learn, learn from the past and make new memories. Like I said, the core of your relationship, which you might not see it now because it's a lesson. This relationship is a lesson. So I need you to see that for a lesson here. One more coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Scorpio, this relationship is ending. Very well could have been a karmatic relationship on the bottom of the deck. Choose a new direction. I mean, I'm not going to get any more clear than this, to be honest. Listen to your intuition. Perfect timing. That is your spread for dealing with someone. Let's get into the single spread. Singles. Let's do a past, present, future for singles for Scorpio. In the past. Ooh, sneaky behavior. Sneaky. You were sneaking around. Someone else might have been sneaking around. Um, you also, this card also tells me that you very well could be holding on to a lot of words and things that were said to you in the past. Uh, be coming from a space of, of, of carrying your own wounds, right? Carrying your own knives, carrying your own words. But there's sneaky behavior in the past. In the present, you're looking for transformation. <laughs> if you're single, now, you know, that relationship spread, you're going about to be single. So now this might resonate with you. In the present moment, things are transforming. Things are changing. There's things that are ending and there are new things that are about to begin for you. And in the future, Page of Swords, very well could be a younger person coming your way, but that wasn't the question. This is more for you. So maybe you're learning about communication. You are figuring out how to communicate what you want. Your Ten of Cups, your ultimate wants and needs and desires. You are also could be, someone could be stalking you on, on Instagram. Um, but this is like you're, you're figuring out how to communicate, you know, your true wants, needs and desires. <clears throat> Let's see who's coming towards you. Could be a Capricorn that's coming towards you. Could be a Capricorn that's coming towards you that's coming out of, out, out of a relationship. Um, five of Swords with the Devil card here. And then they're going to make moves on you. Very well could be a Capricorn coming towards you. If it's not, I'd say there's a businessman that's leaving something. There's someone that's leaving a situation that's making their way towards you. So if that, if that rings a bell for you, keep that in mind. But you also, right, the, for your future contacts, I very well see there could be a younger person here. But I also want to tell you, make sure you know how to communicate what you want. Let's get a card here for singles. Heartbroken. Victory. Yeah, from this heartbreak, you know, even if that relationship spread, you end up being single, you're gonna be heartbroken, but there is victory. Rest and rejuvenate is advice here. So single or not, it doesn't matter. Rest and rejuvenate. Uh, Cause there's some, some, some nice things kind of coming your way here. And, you know, careful with your heart space and don't linger in that space as, as often as you'd like, right? right? There, even though it's a sticky situation, sticky, icky, sticky wicket, and people might have been talking smack behind your back, uh, you're still going to win the jackpot at the end of the day here. So, you know, don't linger in those situations. And to be honest, Scorpio, I haven't done a monthly for you guys yet, but I know that Scorpios are actually not doing so hot, to be honest. Um, and it's your season, so this is why I did your reading first. Uh, you know, just caution, things will pass, nothing is set in stone. And yes, let me go ahead and pull from the Hype Man deck. Inside voices, listen to your inside, connect with yourself, right? Rest and rejuvenate here twice. Inside voices, keep things quiet, keep things low, don't tell anybody about what's, what's going on in your life. Inside voices. Darkness darkness is energy that needs a touch of light. You know, whether you're in a dark place, all you need is a touch of light. So may this message be the moment, the, the, the light that you might have needed, or just, just kind of keep a light shining bright. You know, darkness, you might be the, the light to someone else's darkness, and someone else might be the light to your darkness. So don't lose hope. Zen yourself, sis. Big emphasis here on just kind of reconnecting with yourself, Scorpios. Um, yeah, I think for the first time, Scorpios are feeling a, a different way in their own season because of the planetary alignments. And 
there's a lot of things that are going on. Let me just see if I can. Mars is, is entering Scorpio soon. Which means people, <clears throat> which means we're gonna, be <coughs> we're gonna be, people are gonna start arguing a lot. Very obsessed, Scorpio energy is very obsessive energy. Um, our conversations very well can be a little feisty, but they're going to come from a good place. I want to say what I want to say, but they're going to be a little bit fiery, I think. But they're coming from the heart. Uh, so caution with that. <coughs> Mercury is in Libra. <coughs> Which means you want to know if it's fair or not. Things are balancing out now for you. And to be honest, with all this, this fucking transformation energy that came out, your life is transforming to a whole different level. Uh, so kind of ride that wave. Venus is in Sagittarius. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of people in your DMs, a lot of people coming after you, or a lot of people that want you from like all over the place that you're like, where did this come from? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting there. My name is Alvin Catalan. I am present and I'm done speaking now.